Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview as well as some quick benchmarks on this new SSD from Hynix. This is the Hynix SH910 series and I'll be taking a closer look at the 256 gig model. This is a 2.5 inch form factor SSD. It is seven millimeters tall, so it is uh, suitable for use in a desktop computer or a uh, notebook or laptop computer. Um, if you are going to be installing this in a laptop, bear in mind you will need one that accepts a 2.5 inch form factor drive. And again, seven millimeters tall, uh, which should fit in a lot of laptops and uh, even Ultrabooks that are out there right now. Uh, here's a look at the back of the box. I should mention, uh, if you're not familiar with Hynix as a brand, they have been making the NAND flash memory that goes into SSDs for quite some time now, although I personally have not seen many of their actual consumer uh, level products, uh, but here's one for you guys. Uh, they are using 25 nanometer OnFi DDR NAND flash technology, uh, and that is to provide faster and more responsive PC experience. They apply SSD grade NAND of its highest quality standards into its storage solution that, so that users can enjoy its performance without worrying about losing data, of course. Um, a few more specs on it. This is a SATA Revision 3 6 gigabits per second SSD, um, so make sure you attach it to an appropriate controller if you want to make use of all of its speed. Uh, it does support trim, of course, smart NCQ, uh, superior wear leveling, power failure protection, intelligent read disturb management, and I can also say that this drive uh, does feature support for 128-bit AES encryption. Also, a three-year manufacturer warranty provided by Hynix, and that just about does it for the outside of the box. You may notice I've already opened this. That is because I have already run some benchmarks on this SSD, which I will be sharing with you momentarily. But first off, let's take a look at what is included in the box. Here's a user instruction manual for the SH910 series. Let me just flip that open really quick. Lots of different languages, of course. Uh, some information on the limited warranty, as well as, on this side, some quick picture instructions for installing the SSD. All right. Also in the box, we have, what is this? I don't know what this is. Uh, oh, this is a hazardous substance notification. Insert, we see that sometimes. And that's all. That's pretty much all you get as far as the retail box is concerned. This is a bare drive, not a kit. Uh, now here's the SSD itself. Of course, it comes wrapped in some protective electrostatic packaging. And there's a look at it. This is actually one of the more attractive SSDs I feel like I have seen. As you can see, it's got some, uh, some lettering right there, which is somewhat reflective, kind of silver color. It just tells you SSD, 2.5 inch solid state drive. High performance, very clean look overall. It is white, again, seven millimeters high and 2.5 inch form factor. Apart from that, so again, should fit in just about any case or uh, assembly that will house or that will accept a 2.5 inch drive. As you can see, there are mounting points on both sides here. We also have mounting points on the bottom in the form of these four right there. You also notice that the housing is actually uh, uh, held together by some Phillips head screws. I'll be popping those off in just a moment to give you guys a look at the internals. 256 gig capacity, of course, and then over on this end we have our connectors. So the longer connector right there is your SATA power connector. So generally speaking, that would connect from your hard or from your power supply and a desktop computer at least. And then you also have a two point. I'm sorry. You also have a uh, SATA. Uh, data connector right there, and again, that's compatible with SATA Revision 3, 6 gigabits per second. So by removing the four screws, we can disassemble this little SSD to give you guys a look at the internals. Uh, bear in mind, this is frequently a way that you can void your manufacturer's warranty, so I don't recommend disassembling your SSD at home. But here we can see the housing, of course. There's a look at the PCB inside, which is blue in color. Let me just pop it out to give you guys a closer look. All right, so on this side, uh, we can see basically our NAND modules. Uh, we actually have eight packages on this side. We have another eight packages on this side. As you can see, they all have the Hynix logo. Uh, they are doing top to bottom manufacturing, at least for the NAND on this drive. Uh, and then you also have your controller, which is right there. And uh, although you probably can't see it very well because some of the printing has been taken off by the heat spreader, which is still attached right there, or the thermal pad, I should say, 
Uh, this is a Sandforce controller. It's an SF2281. I should say LSI Sandforce, since Sandforce was acquired by LSI. And one unique thing about this drive is uh, it's 256 gig capacity. If you're familiar with Sandforce drives, typically they come in 240 gig. This is actually due to some updates that LSI Sandforce has made with this specific controller uh, to improve the over-provisioning. Over-provisioning over essentially sets aside some of the NAND for some lower level functions that the drive might perform over the lifespan of the drive. And with these updates, you can actually make use of the full capacity of the NAND chips. So uh, basically you get the full 256 gigs here. With, when it is installed and formatted, you will get a usable, usable capacity of about 238 gigs. And I can uh, say that as compared to some of the 240 gig uh, Sandforce controlled SSDs, those usually come out to around 223 gigs usable capacity. So, so you do get some extra capacity with this drive. Sandforce controller is also going to be performing some on-the-fly compression which will be reflected in some of our benchmarks. So with one last look at the other side of the PCB, let's take a look at the benchmarks. So here are some screenshots of some benchmarks that I have run and um, first off a look at our system configuration. Uh, we're currently running on a 3570K processor. Uh, we're running an ASUS motherboard, so that's a Maximus 5 gene. Z77 chipset and I have connected the SSD to the native controller on the chipset. Everything else is running at stock speed so that gives you a SATA transfer rate which is listed right up here of 6 gigabytes per second. That's your theoretical throughput uh, and then apart from that you can see some of the detailed specs of the drive right up there. Let's move on to our first benchmark and that is going to be ASSSD. Alright so here's the uh, first one. This is actually the actual ASSSD basic test. Overall score of 775. Uh, some of our detailed uh, results that we can see right here. For instance, input output operations per second, which is a very popular benchmark to use when measuring an SSD's performance. We're hitting right around 60,000 on uh, the 4K 64 threaded test. Uh, we're getting total uh, reads and write speeds of around 380 megabytes per second for sequential reads. 297, just shy of 300 megabytes per, sec per second for sequential, sequential writes. Now bear in mind uh, that this particular test uses incompressible data. So here we're seeing the drive's performance with incompressible data. Now let's move on. Actually, there's two other tests I can show you here uh, that are just built into the ASSSD test. This is the copy benchmark, so you, can, you guys can use this for comparison if you want to compare it to some other drives that I have other benchmarks up on those videos. 255, 161, and 195 megabytes per second, respectively. Finally, we also have the compression benchmark here. So this is a level of compression ranging from zero all the way up to 100%. And as you can see, we start off right around the 300 to 330 megabytes per second range right there. And as the level of the, or the amount of compression available moves up, the drive's performance moves up and it tops off here just above 500 megabytes per second for both reads and writes. Jumping up next to our Atto disk, disk benchmark task test, and this is one of the most popular benchmark tests that a lot of uh, actual SSD manufacturers like to use. So here we can see a bunch of transfer sizes ranging from 0.5 kilobytes all the way up to about 8 megabytes in size, and we can see the results for all of them. So uh, it is important to pay attention to the lower size file transfer uh, tests um, for comparison because that's what you're typically going to be dealing with more on a, on a use case scenario basis for just day-to-day -day computer use. But of course we can see the numbers that the drive can hit in more theoretical situations. So up here we have a, a maximum write speed of right around 536 megabytes per second. Maximum read just shy of 560 megabytes per second which is pretty huge. huge. And I should say once again this is using compressible data for this test which is why the drive can perform so well. Uh, that was Q-Depth 4. This is Q-Depth of 10, which is kind of maxing out the potential performance of the drive. Again, uh, we hit just about the same peak on the reads of 560, and I guess just about the same peak on the writes as well, about 536. So um, even without the Q-Depth of 10, we still got really nice performance for the drive. Here is the Black Magic Design Disk Speed Test. This is a test that's designed to see how the drive will perform when dealing with video data, since Black Magic makes hardware that uh, is typically made for video production and that sort of thing. So we have a bunch of different types of video formats listed right here, as well as different levels of uh, color depth. And uh, basically we get the green check mark for the types of data that Blackmagic determines the drive is capable of working with. So if you're looking at PAL or NTSC or even 1080 video right here, we can do everything up to 10-bit or RGB 444. Uh, if we get up into the uh, higher levels of detail and color depth, of course, uh, that's more data. So um, it's more dif difficult for the drives to achieve that. But, yeah, but we got green check marks on 
most of the boxes here. And then uh, writes speeds of 295.1 megabytes per second, reads of 368.5. And uh, the rest of the results are all there if you guys want to take a closer look at them. And then finally, we have Crystal Disk Mark. And Crystal Disk Mark is old standby. Been using it for quite some time, but it's great because you can run it in both compressible and incompressible modes. So this is in compressible data mode. And here again, we can see kind of the drive's peak performance, 522 megabytes per second reads, 514 megabytes per second writes. 4K tests, once again, are really important if you want to look at the type of uh, performance increase that you can see with day-to-day -day computing use. Got 32 megabytes per second on the read and just shy of 100 megabytes per second on the write. Over here we can see the, uh, these are just the detailed results of this test right here. So here we can see input-output operations per second. Uh, upwards of 92,000 uh, IOPS in random write 4K test, in the random write 4K QDEP32 test, uh, read 4K QDEP32, we hit about 60,000 input output operations per second. Once again, uh, I can set this test to run in incompressible mode as well. So here's the incompressible data test. This is going to be uh, very similar to the results that we saw with AS SSD. So I won't go into too much detail, but once again, IOPS, 52,000 here for the reads, 64,000 there for the writes. And that wraps it up for our benchmarks. And that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the Hynix SH910 series 256GB SSD. Also available in the 128GB capacity, but please bear in mind that the benchmarks I've shown today should only be referenced for the 256GB model. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, you can find more on our Newegg TV YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you all next time on Newegg TV.